What is good, Luxo fam? Here we are, post main net. Genesis validators chugging along strong. Everything's running smooth. I see uh, rewards uh, up like 26% today. It was <laughs> beautiful. Uh, I love it. I really love to see that. So, uh, you know, well done, Genesis validators. You know, and as we kind of have this chill discovery period, you know, we get to kind of look at the horizon and see the tsunami that's swelling. You know, don't be caught on the shore picking up shells, you know. Get uh, get on that yacht, that pink yacht, and uh, prepare for the uh, the real excitement. You know, once we get uh, smart contracts deployed, universal profiles integrated, the OG DMAT NFTs, you know, a marketplace for that. Tier 1, be nice to have some liquidity finally. Um, NDAs dropping, you know, we want to see who's been building, you know, in secret. It's going to be uh, really, really exciting. So, um, yeah, one of the new things we got is an update to the website. There's some new information as well as some old information has made its way back on. Um, one of those is the board of advisors. So just kind of wanted to fly through these really quick to give the newbies an idea because, um, you know, it's it's been a while since we've had these up there. So a lot of the newbies in the community might not have seen them yet. And, uh, you know, the OGs probably want to kind of rehash and see where we're at. So let's uh, let's dive right in. Keep in mind, Luxo's advisors are composed of creative professionals that operate at the forefronts of fashion design, media, and lifestyle segments. We know the founders have insane connections all across the board. Um, the advisory board members are acting on their own behalf and not in the name of their companies, of course. Keep that in mind. Um, I want to say that they might have had signed contracts to be on this advisory board. Um, so maybe it does have some weight, but yeah, just keep in mind they're acting in their own behalfs. Um, and from a, uh, let's just start off the bat right here with uh, Dr. Bernt Hopcorn. Now, from a recent interview with Marjorie, she described her meeting, her first meeting, um, you know, where Burns had seen kind of what we all see in Marjorie, like someone who's just poised to help shape the future, right? And, and he was the actual first, you know, uh, advisor signed to the board and uh, he remains there still today. So let's check him out. If you didn't know, he is president of Chanel Europe. I mean, do you really need to say much else besides that? Uh, former CEO of Uniqlo Europe. That's pretty epic as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to literally just like highlight these very quickly and you feel free to uh, dig in on your own uh, volition. Otherwise, this would be an extremely long <laughs> stream. Next up, we have Eric Frunder, um, unfortunately, who passed away um, in December of last year. But uh, yeah, what uh, what an icon he was helping shape, uh, you know, Carl Lagerfeld's career as well as Chanel. Just um, such an influential creator. Um, next up, we've got Peter Zilagi. I probably butchered that last name. Um, but if you don't know, Peter is a software developer at Ethereum still to this day. Core developer, super talented dude. Um, and he's got a nice wit about him <laughs> if you follow him on Twitter. Um, next up, we've got Carolyn Drucker. Carolyn Drucker, VP Marketing and Operations at Photomath. Nice. And I want to say, just from my memory, yeah. Director of Strategic Partnerships um, at Instagram. So, yeah, she's, uh, and before that, wow, Etsy, Global Brand Manager. I didn't even, I don't even see that. SoundCloud, Digital Strategist. Yeah, okay. She is, uh, yeah, super talented as well. We're just literally just diving into this board. Let's just scroll forward a little bit. Okay, we got David Fisher up next. David Fisher, if you don't know, is the founder of High Snobiety. Super hip brand. Um, what else we got? Yeah. Oh, University of Zurich. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> he's been building and creating with uh, High Snobiety for 18 years now. And they uh, they are based out of Berlin, looks like, which is you know where our wonderful Luxo headquarters are. Next up is Rajiv Akara. And excuse me again if I'm butchering names. Um, he is the Vice President Global Technology at Nike. And if I believe, yeah, he was from Burberry before. Actually, when he first signed on uh, as a Luxo Advisory Board member, he was um, working for Burberry as Vice President of Digital Technology, and now he's uh, he's with Nike. Next up, we've got Daniel Heath, VP Nike Direct at Nike. He's been there for almost five years. Very nice. Um, before that, oh, he was also at Burberry as well. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. Um, BBC Worldwide. VP GM Global Direct Digital Commerce. 
leading Nike's direct to consumer business online and in store. Awesome. Alrighty, what else we got? Let's scroll over to see a few more. All right, next up we've got Sarah Jane Godman Boritsky. Um, she is a luxury fashion business consultant, an independent consultant for international fashion houses, accessory brands, art, and design. Okay, very nice. All right, next up, Silky Balms. Silky's co-owner of Silk Relations, a lifestyle PR and event agency. Talking about the Genesis validators there. Nice. Um, okay, so yeah, she's been with Silk Relations for 18 years. Wow, that is uh, that is impressive. All right, we've got Tom Florio. Let's check out Tom. Tom is the founder and CEO at ENT Tech and Media Group, LLC. He's a visionary with a remarkable track record of elevating iconic titles and brands to record levels of profitability. That sounds pretty advantageous. All right, um, yeah, founder and CEO of ENT Tech Group. Paper magazine acquired by this new media group. Nice. All right, she's so like a media, media whiz. All right, let's go to the next section. Dr. Mervin G. Maestri, founder of Confid.io and Kintaro Capital. Confidio. Which I've heard of them before. Yeah, he's been he was CEO of that for seven, almost eight years now running. Nice. Advisory board on Slocket. Yeah, nice. It's a nice, uh, nice addition. Next up, we've got Igor Barinov. Technical manager, an award-winning blockchain expert, Block Scout Technologies. Nice. Yeah, this is that sounds like someone <laughs> good to have on the board for sure. Uh, next up, we got Andrea Abrams. Andrea, if you don't know, she's uh, the Fiji Code founder, Faith Tribe Chief of Strategy, Women of the Future, keynote speaker, tech founder. He's a fashion and retail industry veteran and global executive. This much we know. Um, yeah, so another uh, another wonderful addition there. Next section, we've got Dennis Dignolisk. Uh, he's an old school musician, new school entrepreneur, CEO of Proof and uh, Taste, and as we know, creating the District VR. There it is, merging worlds with music. Awesome. Yes, we found her and CEO of Proof of Taste, advisory to Luxo. Uh, yeah. If you don't know about uh, District VR, yeah, definitely take a look. They uh, they have some dope, dope stuff coming. All right. Um, next up, we've got Carolina Neri, director and FGS Global, advisory board member Luxo. Love to see that. Specialize in the technology sector, supporting clients. All right. Head of communication member. Okay, nice. Next up, we've got Charles Beckwith. I build interesting things. That's awesome. I, uh, I like to hear that. Um, founder and chief innovation officer. Founder, founder, strategic advisor. Okay, very nice. Um, let's go to the next section. Not sure how many more we have here. Um, Renee Celestine. A founding partner at The Banner. Accomplished and skillful live and TV event creative director. Oh, very interesting. Production team leader. Over 900 events and shows. Wow. Um, yeah, that's, uh, oh, The Banner and Boulder together. Cool. Next up, we've got Dr. Anna Trobovich, who, if you don't know, Grid Singularity and Energy Web co-founder. Yeah, so from Harvard University School of Government. Yeah, so she's co-founder and CEO of, uh, you know, Grid Singularity. It's enabling grid-aware peer-to-peer energy communities and co-founder and vice chair of Energy Web Foundation. Doing some really dope stuff out there with some really cool partnerships, um, if you don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, on to the next one. Next up, we've got Julian Budaloop. If you didn't know, he's an engineer and entrepreneur blockchain builder and I believe CEO of and founder of State Capital Group. Founder and CEO, yep, State Capital Group. It's an investment company and quantitative algorithmic trading firm run by a team of leading heads in the blockchain and DeFi industry. 
I can vouch for that. I've seen them doing their thing. Oh, Steak Dow founder as well. Cool. Blackpool founder. Nice. Yeah. He's doing some dope stuff. Um, what else we got here? Uh, looks like two left. Uh, Yasin Shig. He is a blockchain ambassador um, based out of Zurich. And he is the CFO of Near Protocol. Member of the advisory board of the ETH Foundation. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. I actually didn't realize he was back in with ETH way back then too. Very nice. And finally, we've got Tiffany Godoy. She's a catalyst in the cultural shift. Um, Vogue Japan editorial content lead. Oh, that's dope. Okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, we have a, a really nice, well-rounded board of advisors. Yeah, that was the end of it. So um, yeah, I said, you know, take it into your own time to uh, kind of dig deeper if you're interested, but even just kind of having a, a sense of the connections that these, these the founders of Luxo have with the various industries, you know, it's, uh, it's quite expansive. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed that fam and uh, yeah, enjoy your Genesis validation period and uh, until next time, stay pink.